But before that, they are farmers, they're foresters, they're furry, and they're helping preserve one of our most sensitive wildlife reserves. Ken Wildlife Trust is celebrating 21 years since they reintroduced Eurasian beavers after they disappeared from the landscape hundreds of years ago. And as Tony Green has been finding out, those beavers have been pretty busy. This is Ham Fen, the last remaining fenland in Kent. Two decades ago, it was in danger of drying out, but not now, because of beavers reintroduced after an absence of hundreds of years. Their presence has secured the future for this sensitive landscape. This is Kent's last remaining fenland and some 20 odd years ago it was under real threat of drying out. Perhaps as much as 10 metres of stored peat there, so lots and lots of carbon and under the ground was starting to dry out with all the repercussions that we know about now with climate change, but the habitat was disappearing and beaver have turned it back into a wetland, how it should have been, how it was hundreds of years ago. It's the middle of the day, so I'm not likely to see these nocturnal creatures emerging from their lodge anytime soon. But what I can see here at Ham Fen is evidence of beaver activity since the animals were reintroduced 21 years ago. This fantastic beaver dam here has been here for, for over a decade. So they come down nightly, they pack mud into the walls of it, and it's holding back about a metre of water here. There are also myriad channels, beaver canals we call them. That's how they get around. They're fantastic engineers. They create these channels. If I just show you very quickly just how deep they are. So, well, we're just about the bottom there, so that's that deep and then they're able to negotiate this part of the reserve. They'll go there, they'll fell some of the, the small willows. Willow is one of their main foodstuffs, so they'll eat the bark from small bits of willow and they'll transport the bigger bits downstream, so to speak, and down to the dam. And so they are engineers moving materials and they're farmers and foresters as well. This is a fragile environment, but these busy beavers have helped turn around decades of decline and showed how these rodents can restore nature. Tony Green, ITV News, Hamfen.